yeah it's uh it's an amazing community man like especially with like like all the courses like or like the the stuff and we get to like interact with you and the you comment on all the posts right so it's like really um it's really nice like even though it's small that gives it like an edge over like a bigger community like adonis school right because hamza can't reply to every every person yeah. right but that's true that's true yeah i feel like yeah that's the one benefit i feel like i'm kind of mm-hmm. stealing <laughs> stealing people from his community you know no because because it's there's such good courses in the in like thinkers academy and it's free right now so like it's a steal right yeah so yeah why wouldn't you join that's true that's true yeah what do you think about the have you seen the youtube channel yeah i've seen it i i searched up your name on youtube and uh i found the the channel it's really nice um yeah. like lots of guides and stuff very useful so do you have any questions uh to ask me i'm free yeah, to- i have yeah, i have a, a question um sort of like a little bit like abstract a little bit so if you don't understand it i have another one just in case uh yeah, go ahead go ahead i'll try my best i pretend to be a good person and i do favors for others but in reality inside my head i always think why the hell did i agree to this this is so stupid why did i do this for a stupid person and the thing is i'm like very empathetic to people if i see someone going through a tough time or something uh, i feel really bad for them and if they're like if it's really bad, sometimes I might cry because because it's so sad, right? Um, but what's so strange is that when I like when I do go and help them, my patience runs out like so badly. I just went from like almost crying because of how like bad I felt for this guy to like now I just want them to, like let's say it's some lonely kid and I go talk to them. Um, and like they start talking, right? I just went from like almost crying to that about that person to like I just want them to shut up, now. right? Okay. It's kind of like I'm pretending to be a good person, but like I feel bad for them and I do want to help them. But then when I do help them, I, I, I lose my patience so quickly, and it's almost like I didn't want to help them in the first place, right? Okay. Okay. Like uh, Greek philosophers and stuff. Like that like say like virtue is a habit like but like i've been doing this and like i still feel like so impatient when i like go and help like anyone i feel bad that's so strange i feel bad for them and i want them to get better but i don't want to help them for some reason okay (laughs) i think this is certainly relatable in my life i've certainly been through periods where so let me just try and understand what you've said so you see people who maybe they need some help Mm, and you want to go help them, right? But maybe you get impatient. Are you like trying to give them advice? Is that what you're doing? Uh, Like give them advice, like just talk to them. Like if they're just like sitting alone, just have like a chat with them. Just like, like anyone having like a tough time, I try to help them with whatever they're having a tough time. So if they're like lonely, I'll like go talk to them if they're struggling with something I'll give them advice like you know that kind of stuff okay but then so when you help them you feel a bit impatient or you feel a bit annoyed yeah yeah is that accurate okay. hmm. yeah. I get what you I get what you're saying like I used to be like that kind of I, I kind of still am right I still want to help people like you can probably tell by what I do or what I'm trying to do with this community that I love helping people and it does come to a level where it is frustrating when you're trying to help someone and maybe they're just so they're so far gone that they're annoying to interact with or maybe they like by helping them it's like annoying you like they're they're kind of like influencing your life it's just like you don't like it but the 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 deed is good right you want you went into with the intention of helping them which is great but there will be a, an element of just you know it is annoying right because maybe they haven't like developed so maybe they don't talk much right like the example you gave right and so their social skills 
are trash, right? Like, let's just be like a bit brutally honest there. Their social skills are very bad. And so even being around them is annoying, right? Like I've had my fair share of like, okay, I'll tell you some stories about my my life. Like I went through university and there were a lot of like girls who were like bad news, but I would like be tempted to like go and help them. Right? I would be like the kind of like the white knight kind of, and I knew that it wasn't a good idea, but <laughs> I went and, you know, tried to help them. And, you know, these are crazy girls, right? And they like wrecked my life. <laughs> And so sometimes you have to leave it, right? And it's never it's never clear, right? It's never clear whether you, you can leave it or whether you can, you know, whether you can help in a, in a sense. But there comes a point where you have to decide that, right? Maybe you know that you can help, but maybe it's better that they learn it themselves or maybe it's better that someone else helps them or maybe it's better that like the world teaches them that lesson or maybe it's better that you know something else helps them like you're not the only person in their lives it's not as if if like you don't help them then they will get no help ever again it's sometimes the case right you can have to weigh up whether it is actually beneficial for you to go and help them right and sorry if it's a bit vague but there's no specific answer there's no like there's a spectrum between yes and no in terms of should you help them and should you not right and i'm also going to throw this idea out there there's a there's a um how you say this it's like a passage in the bible and it's it sounds really harsh by the way and it's it goes like this don't cast pearls before swine right and it means basically if you're trying to like give something to someone like specifically if you're, if you're trying to help someone and they don't they don't really appreciate it then like stop doing that right so like a pearl is like a gemstone right and swine is like a pig a pig doesn't care about gemstones right they're just they're not going to appreciate that gift that you're giving them and so it's a metaphor for the people in your life that you know, might not appreciate that thing that you're giving them, right? And sometimes they might even drag you down with them, right? If you, like, involve yourself in that scenario, like the crazy girls in my life, right? So that's something I want to write down as well. Um, do not cast pearls before swine. Do not cast... before swine. Okay, so there's an element of saying, okay, don't, like, try to kind of see if your advice is actually working. And if it's not, and you like, you've tried, then stop. But especially if they're dragging you down, right? If you notice that it's either annoying to you or, like, your life is becoming worse because you're helping them. Life is worse, right? If, especially if you notice that then that's like a signal to be like, okay, I need to like get out of this situation, right? And like, thankfully, like with my stories with those girls and in a university, I was like, okay, fair enough. I think my life is just getting too worse, too much like stress in my life to be involved with these girls anymore. So I just, I let it loose, right? And I like, there's an, there's an analogy that I've heard before where people talk about lifeguarding, right? So... The advice with lifeguarding is that, well, there's a philosophy, right? You've got to like, you're trying to save this person, but if they're if they're panicking too much, then two drowned people is worse than one drowned person, right? So if they're panicking and they're like not cooperating, then you shouldn't try to help them, right? I know that sounds like so like, it sounds harsh. Right, I know these these things I'm saying sound harsh, but in that situation, when they're not cooperating with you, when when they're not making it like a pleasant experience for you to help them, then you've got to let it go, right? Like even as a lifeguard, you're supposed to help them, but if you go get involved and they like you know panic and drag you down, 
and you drown yeah. as well as them, right? Then there's two people drowned instead of one person. And so even from a logical sense, it's it's better to leave it be sometimes, right? And it's not necessarily, I know I'm kind of being a bit vague here, but does that help? Yeah, that that helps, yes, because like, obviously if you're trying to help someone and they're like, they're not cooperating or, or whatever, like, you know, you got your girlfriend to, to meditate one time with you in the car, like that's like not, like you shouldn't help that type of person if, if they don't want your help. I I did this before with like my friends, I tried to, to help them get off of like video games they didn't listen. Um, and yeah, if, if helping people does drag you down, maybe you shouldn't do it. But the thing is, they, if, if it makes you like annoyed, if, if you like, if it's annoying to help people, but I feel like it's always going to be annoying to help people since like, like, like humans are like selfish beings, right? So I, it's not benefiting me. That's why I'm helping another person. I'm not helping me. Right. Well, there comes a point or there comes you you have to decide that, right? Like there's some there's some points in your life where it does feel good. And maybe that's rare. But there are some points, like maybe most of the help you give right now feels annoying, right? And like maybe like one percent or five percent feels good. But there there is stuff out there, right? Like I had to go out and so the stuff I'm doing right now, the YouTube videos I make going on calls with you guys like live it, it i feel good once i you know once i leave the call i'm like i help someone right i talk to like a real person and help them out and talked about something that lessons i learned and i passed that on i it felt good right so the 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 thing to do there is to find more things like that right and so with this kind of like so there's a bar right and so if I like highlight, so if this is the annoying stuff and this is the fulfilling stuff, right? You kind of have to move that bar across this direction and like in the future, there'll be more stuff that's more fulfilling to you, right? Does that make sense? It's like a slider and it's hard. It's hard to find stuff that's like when you help people, it feels good, right? Because a lot of the time, they don't want the help or they're annoying about it or they drag you down or whatever. But there are places like here, like right now I'm talking to you. I feel like I'm helping and I feel good about it. Thanks, bro. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So what you're saying is um, I should just try to find places where doing good feels good, right? Yeah, yeah. And then and do less of the stuff that when you help people, it feels bad. Do less of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. This, this is like uh, I feel like I'm bothering you with this question. Like, What's that? I feel like I'm uh, bothering you a little bit with this question since like we, we've talked about it like so much. But no, no, it's okay. I enjoy this. It's great. But like, with the right thing, you could like let's let's say like the the lonely kid again example, right? Okay. With the right thing, it be like, like you said, like yeah, they don't have social skills, and you should like let them live life. Life will teach them that. Like, would would the right thing be? just let them be lonely like because it's sad right because like they're sitting there and they're looking all like sad and stuff it might be annoying for me to go like make small talk about them, but with like the moral thing i feel like would be to talk to them but like the practical thing maybe not so i don't know it is tricky it's definitely tricky and I understand your point. It's definitely like you feel like it's the right thing to do. You feel like it's it's great to do. And like you see it sometimes, right? Like when when some guy helps 
another guy out who might be lonely, right? And then that lonely guy ends up being like a a tag along friend. You know what I'm saying? Like that friend, like kind of he follows him around and stuff like that. And it's tricky, man. Like you want to help him out, and but there's like a limit to how that happens. Like it's tricky. It's tricky. Like I don't think it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong to go and talk to the guy that's lonely. And, you know, maybe just, like, have lunch with him or something like that if, if he's sitting alone at lunchtime. Um, but then beyond that, like, it's only when it becomes a problem that you need to do something about it or you need to, like, stop uh, helping, right? At the start, it won't be such a problem. So, like, you know, you choose to, like, go sit with him instead of sitting with, with your friends or whatever. Or maybe you bring your friends up, whatever, whatever you do, right? You go and talk to the lonely guy, Right. It might take, you know, five, ten minutes and it's not a bother to you. It might become a bother when the guy, like, suddenly, like, he's your only friend and he follows you around everywhere. And, and you, you might have to tell him, look, I, I need some time to myself. I, I need to go and, you know, hang out with my friends now, right? It's it's tricky. It's It's so... It's so... <sighs> this is the thing, right? You've got to, like, have your own space. It's like with um it's like with celebrities, right? I reckon like they have so many fans that want to spend time with them, but they've just got to be like no. You can't hang out with me, right? It's like a it's like a protection of their personal space, right? And so that that's another lesson he has to learn, and it's a painful lesson for that lonely guy to learn to be like, you know, you're being too much like leave me alone that's it hurts to hear that but you might mm. have to tell them that at that point right yeah it's tricky it's tricky yeah i i guess so yeah, it's very tricky So look for the point at which it becomes annoying, right? So I'm not saying don't go help the people in the first place. Absolutely do that. But then when you, when you feel like it's annoying, and this, this requires like a very good self-awareness, by the way, right? So my recommendation would be to like, you know, journaling and stuff like that. That's, I do that kind of stuff quite a lot. So I'm, I'm pretty aware of how I feel. And that's how I'm aware of how I feel. And so if I notice I'm writing a lot about, you know, this guy that's annoying me, or if I'm, you know, thinking about that a lot, I'm like, okay, I need to do something about that. It's annoying now, so I need to, like, stop doing that, right? Similarly to my past situations with, with girls, I, was, I, that I had that realization, right? These, <laughs> these bitches are crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, okay, I've got to cut them up. I've got to be like, you know, I, I can't see you anymore. I've got to, I'm breaking up, right? And that's tough, right? Like telling someone like they're too much and like leave me alone basically and telling a, telling a girl, like telling a girl, that's so hard, man. Like breaking up with a girl, that's tough. You're literally, you have to be there while you like take their heart and just like smash it on the floor. It's tough. It's tough, but you that's the right thing to do, right? Because it, it's not good for, for you. It's not good for them either, right? Because think about that. Like, if you just let them, you know, follow you around or... Like, if I... If I let those girls hang around me and, like, you know, kind of, like, let them be, they would, they would think, okay, me being crazy is okay, Right. Similarly to the lonely guy, the lonely guy thinks, okay, me following this guy around is okay. And it's not okay. Right. It's not okay for the girl to be crazy. It's not okay for the lonely guy to like be socially weird and follow you around. It's not okay. And they have to learn that lesson. That lesson's hard to learn. You might have to be the one to give them that lesson. And it's, it's hard. It's hard. But you got to do it. You got to do it. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you for that. I guess, am I, um, like, how many questions am I allowed? <laughs> uh, like, how long do we 
we'll go until 4 p.m. in my in UK time. So whatever that is to you.